if there ever was a gun that I think everybody needs to have, especially now during the time where the ammo was a buttload of money, the guns are a buttload of money, and you can't find either one, there's one gun that I say you have to add to your collection because with this gun, not only are you going to have something that does not look like every single firearm on the market, it's not going to be like a Glock, it's not going to be like a Sig, it's not going to be like a Smith & Wesson, they all have that Glock image. The one gun that I think you should have that's not going to hurt your pockets, especially now when you go to the range and you're trying to throw some down there, the one gun that I honestly believe you need to have in your arsenal is this right here. What is that you say? This right here is the Ruger Mark III target. Now, Ruger does have a Mark IV out, but I'm going to say this one because it's fairly modern, so to speak. It's not, it's not the Mark IV, so it's still fairly, fairly modern. And I'm going to go ahead and get this out the way. The one thing I do hate about this is the takedown. We're not even going to get into the takedown. You can find videos regarding the takedown. Now you're going to get into the takedown. I'm going to just tell you this. If you don't want to deal with taking this gun apart to clean it, don't get this gun. But if you don't care and you don't mind trying to learn how to take this gun down, then this is the perfect firearm to get. This firearm shoots 22 LRs. Now, so you know, with the price of ammo, it may be cheaper to go with these 22s. These 22s ain't as expensive as your 9s, as your 45s, as everything else on the market. These 22s are a lot more reasonable, and I don't mind, you know, getting some practice time in with them. Now, back to the firearm. The Ruger Mark III Target. The reason I love this, man. First of all, I just love the way it looks. I went with this uh, nickel. Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot the name of the metal. I went with this uh, steel. <laughs> I'm saying nickel. I went with the steel, steel frame. Everything all still with the black grips. I like it. They have, other, they have I think, a, another color of wood or something like that anyway. But I like this one better. The thing I like about this is because it doesn't look like nothing else I have. It looks like nothing else that I have. It's completely different than everything else that I have. Yet, all the functions are still in the same area. Magazine pops out. You know, when you pull it back, when you pull the slide back, locks in a place. You go ahead and unlock that. Oh, this has to be done with two hands. Everything for me. I had to go ahead and cut the light off. Couldn't see everything. But everything for me matches up or at least allows me to maintain some sort of muscle memory with my other firearms. Be able to drop the mag. It's in the same area on my other firearms. This one has a safety. You know, I'm not too keen on safeties, but this one does have the safety. And also, the slide release. So, for me, my fingers still remain in the same place for all the functions that I need, you know, that I need done. And it just looks good. It just looks good. You know? So, without this video being too long, Ruger Mark III, Target. I suggest you get you one. It's nice and heavy. Has some weight to it. There's like zero recoil on this. Zero recoil when you take it to the range. So if you're trying to get your lady into shooting, I would definitely get her one of these or get yourself one of these. And she can learn on it, practice on it because the recoil is, there is none. There's hardly, it's like a pussycat. There really is no recoil. And once again, you're not going to break the bank on the 22 LRs. So I would definitely suggest this. And it just looks good. I mean, it looks good. It's something different than what you see every day. And it's not going to break the bank. The Ruger Mark III Target. I co-signed this. Thanks for watching.